Hi all, Valiant Technology here with another quick bite. Teams now allows for breakout rooms. This is great for splitting up into smaller groups in a team meeting and then regrouping when you're ready to have everyone back together again. I recently used this in a training where we were walking people through the steps of setting up multi-factor authentication. And when someone had an issue just specific to them, we put them into a separate room, a breakout room with an engineer to fix their issue. So I'm gonna show you how it works. Check your top ribbon for this icon right here that says breakout rooms. When you click it, it will ask you how many rooms you need. Let's say I want to split my participants in half. Two rooms. You can have it automatically assign the people, which will just separate them however it sees fit, or you can manually assign them. Since automatically is pretty much one click and you're done, let's do manually. Do it the long way. Okay, I've got two empty rooms here. To start, I'm going to rename them. So click the dot, 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 rename room. If you had a selected automatic assignment, these would be filled with names. But since we didn't, we're going to go to this Assign Participants button. Check off one or more names, and then click Assign. You'll see the names of the breakout rooms that you created. And feel free to just click which one you want to assign them to. Now, you're not done yet. That just puts them in the list for the breakout room, but they're still here in this meeting. When it's time for the breakout rooms to occur, you have to open them. You can either click Start Rooms to open all the rooms, or if you want to open an individual room, click the dot 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 and open room. And those users will have been moved to that room, while the rest of us are still in the main meeting. Now, if you want to join one of these rooms, it's also very easy. You won't be in the participants list. You just click the dot 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 and click Join Room. Joining puts me on hold and opens a new pop-up window where you can see I'm in a chat with these two people. This allows me to do things like share my screen, anything like that to just these two people. And then if I'm ready to come back, I click return. All participants and guests will have that return option. But if you wanna just bring everyone back into the meeting together, you can close the rooms either individually by clicking the dot, 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 or with this close all rooms button. If you want to reassign someone, click on the breakout room, click their name and click the assign button. You'll be able to move them to unassigned or one of your other breakout rooms. You can also easily delete a breakout room, moving everyone into unassigned. Just click the dot, dot, dot and click delete room. And if you find you need another room, it's very easy to add one. Click add room and it makes a, a unnamed room, which then you can name and assign people to. For more tips and useful how to's, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at thevaliantway.com slash KB. Bye-bye.